This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the We are live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in very snowy and blustery Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 603. Tuesdays, we've been celebrating professional wrestling with you right here live on the Facebook Live, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're ready with the whole crew here. Uh, first of all, we have from Poughkeepsie, New York. It is Mad Mike. Sorg, it is also snowing here. And I, Sorg, I may get a shot at the NXT Tag Team Championships in the near future. Will you? Will you? As, a, as You are the only one here with the form, future Endeavor letter from the WWE. And mm-hmm. considering they're bringing some people back, maybe I'm, I'm waiting for your re-signing, sir. Uh, well, it, it's not just that. It's uh, someone who once issued me a, a championship match. That is uh, right. Okay. Yes, we'll, I, we'll, we'll I, get into that. Coming for you. Coming for you, Ro. <laughs> <laughs> Ro, <laughs> Ro, <laughs> row your boat to Stanford, bitch. You Ro. need you need to tweet him and say, hey, uh, <laughs> remember when you, you showed me a title shot? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Still gonna happen. All right, Still and also happen. with us, he is back. He's out in uh, just just east of us, over the frozen tundra here in the area. He is. I mean, I'm, I'm still not coming out of my house. Housework. You're not coming out of your house. No, I'm not. No, no. He's, <laughs> he's he is barricaded in and needs to shovel his way out. It is the Riz. Hi, Sorg. Hi, Riz. We've missed I'm, you. I missed. I missed you, Sorg. Good to have you back. Good to have you back, good sir. Good to have you. Sword. And finally with us also, he is the current Black Diamond Wrestling champion, former IWC and uh, KSWA tag team champion. And uh, his profile picture for Google Hangout is him getting his hand raised by one Booker T, sucker. <laughs> he is the Bearcat and the best wrestler in professional wrestling. Keith Hot. Uh, you're far too kind. <laughs> um, hey guys, how's it all going? Uh, I'm I'm here. It's uh yeah, we're definitely uh, roads are crap. Roads are really bad. <laughs> yeah, notice <laughs> they're, they're nobody bad. in the studio tonight. <laughs> nope, nobody it's in the here studio. Too. Yes, it's so, good that we can. I'm, this- I'm a little same, nervous. Same. I'm a little nervous that it's still snowing there and it's already yeah. started here. Mm. I mean, it's going to go for a while. Just started. At least no. you guys. <laughs> no, it's, it's been snowing all day. Mm-hmm. Well, it just ended here. So now that the weather re- the weather mayhem show is over, let's talk about the wrestling mayhem show. You can join us here every Tuesday at live at wrestling mayhem show dot com at nine p.m. Eastern time. You can put us on the side while you got SmackDown in the background. I mean, you don't necessarily need to listen to that. Uh, you can also please drop us a line at that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, as well as the four one uh, the phone number four one two two zero six WMS zero at Mayhem Show on the Twitters. We like to do some tweets, especially Mad Mike, uh, late night as he's catching up on wrestling and during a Monday Night Raw and pay per views as well. And uh, also uh, props to our friend uh, Basic Sickness at BasicSickness.com for the intro music. And uh, also thank you to our Patreon supporters too, fan of the show level at the dollar Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Bo diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke and Bobby F. J. Town get bell soon, Bobby. Uh, also, the Pocky Club five dollar level. Who's going to get the Wrestling Mayhem Show gold with uh, Mad Mike's rant? Uh, that's uh, of course our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, uh, Tina Keys and Christopher Bishop. And at the Pizza Club ten dollar level, again, state of the show reports happening. It is Billy F. N. Johnson. Uh, you guys can support the show again at the uh, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It does help literally keep the lights on here in the studio for us and we really really appreciate you guys who are helping the mayhem show move forward there so let's get into some wrestling talk you guys how about that um 
Let's get into some grapples, Sorg. Get, let's get Sounds into good. some grapples. Sounds good. All right. We're still getting a little bit of background noise on somebody uh, TV or something going on there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but uh, first of all, the big news. A friend of the show news. Let's go with that a little bit, too. Uh, first hashtag of all. Mayhem bump. Hashtag mayhem, mayhem bump. Hashtag mayhem bump. Um, so uh, there was a round of a separate WWE.com announcements. Um, <laughs> let, 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 let's start. Let's, let's, let's start a little, little down the line here. First, I saw the announcement, of course, of Ricochet, um, Trevor Man. Uh, he's Trevor he Ricochet Man. They used both of it. I don't think they mentioned Prince Puma in this article at all. Not the same Prince guy. Puma, Prince Puma Man. Pr- Pr- Prince Puma Man. <laughs> That's a Prince whole different man. character, that I think. Well, actually, um, I, I've heard um, Prince. Sorry, Prince Puma is a totally different guy. He's going to help El Generico with the orphans down in Mexico. Oh, that makes sense. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. We heard. I, I heard that from um, hopefully future friends of the show, um, uh, Vinny Massaro. Hmm. He, he confirmed it. So I mean, that's that's definitely that's definitely accurate. Absolutely. So, th- yeah. that, so that was a big one. That's a big one right off the bat, right? Um, yeah, that's that's pretty big. That's a pretty big news story. What else can top that? I mean, I mean, it could be uh, uh, C- Candice LeRae, one half of the cu- the the world's that's cutest true. tag team, true. also getting mm. signed today uh, officially. Hey. You know, oh yeah, it's been a lot of <laughs> a lot of rumor about that as well. Very very excited, although not excited that. Um, Tommaso Ciampa congratulate her. Oh, that, yeah, that's, that <laughs> that's gets a little weird. Or how about effing War Machine, Hanson, and friend of the show, <laughs> uh, Ray yeah. freaking Rowe, is signed to the WWE? <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. I mean, uh. that, that is... That if anybody, you know, I, I just can't wait for War Machine to get in there with Authors of Pain, with uh, with Sanity, uh, and, and doing some fun stuff, right? Now, now, see, you say that, but you know who I'm more excited to see War Machine eventually get in the ring with? Hmm. The Revival. The oh, Revival. Yeah. Oh, that would uh-huh. be, really be fun. Uh huh. That, that, that's the fun. one I want to see. That's the one I want to see. <laughs> Or machine versus heavy yeah. machinery. I I worry about heavy Two. machinery. Oh, I geez. worry about heavy oh. machinery now. I, I like them a lot though. I, I like the old schoolness of it. Yeah. It's, it's a very ninety five gimmick, and I like. Oh, that. I, I love heavy machinery too. <laughs> but, but you remember when we had Bull Dempsey? And yeah. yeah. It, and then they signed Kevin no. Owens, and everyone was just like, "No, oh wait a minute, <laughs> this is a much better version of this." Yeah. Game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm worried about heavy machinery. It is I'm it right. is it is interesting to point out on the uh, on the uh, 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 post at least for War Machine. Um, they do mention well, well one I want to say Ricochet is a picture from Pro Wrestling Gorilla, but the picture for uh, War Machine is actually uh, noted as uh, well courtesy Scott Finkelstein and Ring of Honor. So again, mm-hmm. more evidence of that kind of uh, discussion there. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, more and more, I, I just think that Ring of Honor. You know, I'm listening to Bruce Pritchard and, and talking about the ECW years, right? And uh, I, I think more and more, like that that relationship is definitely happening more openly these days of WWE's feeder system kind of happening, right? Well, there's also less competition, so any press is good press, even if it's just donating a picture or, you know saying hey these guys used to work for us too you can check them out mm-hmm. a lot yeah. actually a lot of images for ring of honor too so i mean you know kind of kind of point out it, it when, when you watch ring of honor tv the first images are a bunch of people that are signed to wwe right now right it's it's it's, Dan, <laughs> it's Dan, uh, daniel bryan okay. i got i got switched up in my head with his old name uh it's cesaro it's cm punk <laughs> it's aj styles like it's like hey these guys used to be here you know, like they're not uh, they're not pulling punches on that. And, and, and Impact does the same thing, too, with their icons and, and things uh, happening, but to a different effect, unfortunately. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's a similar effect. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think I I mean, WWE, I think they both do it now because WWE does the then now forever. But WWE, like their signature is different than their opening credits. Like you don't see Stone Cold Steve Austin on the opening credits of Raw. No. You no, might you, ne- you might next week, but <laughs> but like like it's different to have a signature before your before your opening credits for your show. Like I think that 
I think that's kind of the disconnect between Ring of Honor and TNA because mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with honoring the past guys that have been there, but you should really use the intro to, mm-hmm. you know, further the talent that you currently have. In in, in mm-hmm. all in all cases, and, and they don't say whether you know they, they're referred to as War Machine, they're referred to as as Ricochet in his in his real name, uh, they're referred to as Can- well, obviously Candice has already been there uh once under things so you know is there going to be any rebranding who knows at this point uh, i don't know if they're going to use ricochet but they used leo rush so who knows i think they i think they use ricochet because his twitter handle is literally king ricochet <laughs> okay all right we'll see what happens with that it'll be it'll be interesting to see these guys in the mix um and not that i don't I mean, think can, NXT- can, can I, go ahead can i can i because yeah, oh, riz, riz, riz has something to say can we stop with this rebranding stuff? Uh, I'm uh, sorry, Sorg, but okay. they haven't done it in a while. Mm-hmm. Kyle O'Reilly's still Kyle O'Reilly. Adam Cole's still Adam Cole. Everybody's still the same person they were. They like um, Seven's like, like Cassius, but I think he wanted that name so he can keep yeah. it for us like T-Shop, I think. So, well, so this saying, oh, they're going re- to they're gonna probably rebrand him, and oh, hey, look, there's uses. But there, it, there have been some rebranding, though. There's been some, but it's not like back in the day where everybody got a new name. It's like, well, what's this yeah, guy's name? But I mean, Oscar wasn't Oscar. That's true. Just, Hideo, just Hideo Itami wasn't Hideo Itami. Mm-hmm. Like Shinsuke was Shinsuke. Shinsuke was Shinsuke, but yeah, but like you know, I think it depends on the name. It depends mm-hmm. on the name. It depends on the deal. It depends if it's a real name. It depends on um, because you do have to sign something for something particular for rights a lot of times. So and and still, you got to go back to as well. Even if they do change the name, that doesn't make the man. Mm-hmm. No, of course not. Like, like Cesaro is always going to be Claudio, but he's well, still pretty freaking. Awesome. Well, let's be honest. Who's going to be able to spell Castagnoli amongst the WWE audience? <laughs> they can barely spell heart. We could barely say it when we first started talking about him on this show. That's true, so, Claudio. I mean that is that is that is an appropriate rebranding right there, and and, and I think it is it is definitely you know kind of back and forth depends on who it is it depends on the, I don't think it's a cookie cutter deal hey you're here and we're going to rebrand you so we own it. I, it you know there's like whatever share deal whatever the case may be so we'll see you know kind of what happens with that no I and I'm with I, you I, I think it, it also depends on like the gimmick that you're coming in because you're talking about Cole Fish and O'Reilly like their gimmick is that they're kind of outsiders they're from a different company same thing with Roderick Strong. Right, right. They're not making True. any bones about any of that stuff, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't mean to yell, guys. I'm sorry. Riz is no, mad. Th- Riz is mad. It's it's awesome. okay, Riz. This is my first time this year, Sorg. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting in my licks now. Uh, Keith, <laughs> Keith, as a resident pro wrestler here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you stared, shared at least Showtime uh, shows, uh, wrestling shows, uh, with at least a few of these names. Is that correct? Uh, Ro. Ro, I've been in uh, quite a few. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rest, um, I don't believe I was on with Larray, but I've definitely been a bunch of a row. He's, oh god, I couldn't be more excited. That dude's awesome. He's 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 a stand up dude. He's, yeah, I can't say I can I can say his praise all day. That mm-hmm. guy's also the strongest human being I've ever seen. <laughs> Ridiculous. He was <laughs> so t- strong. He he was he was one of the names uh, when we first started going to IWC in 2006. Uh, that oh, yeah. really stuck out. These guys came as a Cleveland Mafia wearing Browns colors and were over in Pittsburgh. Yeah. If, yeah. if that doesn't say that this guy was like future superstar, I don't know what does. So between him and J-Rock, and, and even J-Rock is doing pretty good these days too, uh, popping up on uh, Ring of Honor uh, and things like that. So it's good to see. Ray Rose, I, mean, I, remember, good. I remember his match with with Samoa Joe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Summer yeah. Sizzler. Joe. Yeah. Those Oof, were the days. That was good. Those were the days. Uh, go ahead. He, he still he still owes me a title match. Though, he does still owe you a title <laughs> match. You got to call him out on it now, right? I don't I'm think going, you want to I'm... challenge the guy like Ray Rose. Or... <laughs> no. I, uh... I'm going to find myself a tag team partner. Mm-hmm. I'm going to find myself a tag team partner. Okay. Um, I'm already taking applications. Uh, well, Keith and... is a multiple tag champ, so maybe he's he should be your pick. This is what I'm saying. Not it. <laughs> wow riz okay fine riz riz, riz is his new gimmick is the bus thrower riz, immediately immediately throwing me under the bus whoa, whoa, whoa. riz riz has seen much of ray rose early career in i Pittsburgh. have seen ray rose destroy men yes. yeah but 
uh, who say first of all who says i'm a man (laughs) (laughs) first and foremost (laughs) and he challenged me i did not challenge him Mm -hmm. (laughs) exactly he knew the threat we need to pull that up. We need to pull, <laughs> yeah, it. We need to pull, we need to pull up that sound bite again. Become the American Kevin Owens. <laughs> that is right. The American <laughs> Kevin Owens. Oh, I need to geez. get my haircut again to really to really complete the gimmick. Yeah. That is true. Here's, here's the fun thing. What's we, that? I was going to say that maybe you could have, you know, a, a facial hair like match off, but then I saw I looked up and I saw your picture on the screen. I'm like, yeah, he's got you beat there too, but yeah, he's sorry. Got you. He you know, got, no, he's he got, got a pretty great beard right now. Well, I, I'm not challenging his beard. I mean, it, it's a very, it's a magnificent beard. Oh, because who can? It's majestic. Who, who can? Who can at these? Him yeah, and exactly. Hansel is even more so. Oh, my God, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a long beard. Oh, geez. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like down to here, I think. Mm-hmm. All <laughs> right. See, so, that, that's, see, mine yeah, you can't pull on. I'll just, because I'll fight dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick oh. though, has everybody seen the video? Everybody seen the the video, right? The video, Mike. Yeah, the the one with him uh, suplexing Cupid. Everybody seen that one? No, I have <laughs> not Ooh. recently. You, you, oh, okay. Wait. Oh, well. Okay. I, if your phone is pulled up right now, because just it's Ray Rose suplexing I, Ray Rose suplexing Kid Cupid. It's the most. Oh yeah. Thing. Okay. Okay. Just make sure we're all on board with that. While, we're all on board with that. Hey, Sorg is, I, I think I remember this. Moment. While Sorg is pulling it up, I want to do want to. There's a couple of chat comments in the chat room that I want to bring up. Tina Keys is correcting <laughs> FYI, Mike. Cage has already taken the title as machine. And Alex <laughs> Miller is offering he'll do it. He's in training to be a wrestler. Okay. All right. So um, there's, yeah, there's your title. Alex, uh, uh, brother, you're gonna have to send me your tapes. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to, you know, tell me tell me what your gimmick is. And uh, let me know if you can work a leg or not, brother, brother. You know, for for somebody who has one person <clears throat> offering to help him out because, you know, Riz automatically was like, nope, not it. Uh, mm-hmm. You're being really picky. Okay. Okay. I got I, it. Well, uh, well, to I be mean, fair, I mean, he I doesn't would. have a championship yet. I have time. You have time to prepare. You have time to trade. Yes, exactly. It's it's like Batman. So it's like good. Batman, really. Time to prepare. I re- Does that mean uh, I'm, I'm this, Robin? I mean, I'm, I'm down. Remember this video. And Billy Johnson wants to be ringside. Yes. Right, Billy, down. <laughs> Absolutely down. But I have one condition. You have to have a megaphone. Yes. Uh, yeah, so with hearts yes. on it. <laughs> so, no, 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 no with hearts. Sorry, we haven't picked our, our gimmick yet. Oh, it doesn't okay. have to okay. be hearts. I mean, come on. Right. You're, you're already shoehorning me into this thing, Sorg. We got we to gotta let it breathe. So we, we, <laughs> we found the video, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe this here for, yes. for you guys on audio. One, if you're on uh, video, there is 400-pound Kid Cupid. Oh, yes. Old Mayhemers, uh, look up some some stories of uh, Joe, Joe Dombrowski talking about this man and fighting him with a sandwich. Uh, but there he is. <laughs> but uh, this is why I forgot about this. Ray Rowe did not look like Ray Rowe. He's uh, rocking no, he a not. baby blue singlet right there, yeah. and his mm-hmm. hair is in the wrong place. It's on his head. Um, so, so this, this is him at his strongest. Yeah, this isn't him at his strongest. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. This oh. isn't him in his most badass and tattooed. And there he goes. There are, are he we, goes. Are we yeah. forgetting the best part of that about this video? Hmm. That it started with him falling off of a chair. Oh, yep. What? There it is. He fell off of a chair to begin with. Yeah, he fell off a chair. chair. Like at see, the very are, beginning. See, so this this Hold is on. good. I've discovered chairs are his weakness. Oh, there you go. There he is. <laughs> there he is. He just, can't can't <laughs> do a chair. I Doing actually the remember study, this, brother, brother. I hope I actually be... remember this because I submitted this to uh, Botchmania at one point. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. So really, Rose should have a grudge against you, Riz. <laughs> no, he should not. <laughs> I don't know. Submitting you submitting his stuff to Botchamania, that's uh I, I I've submitted stuff that I've filmed to Botchamania, so <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> because you have to sometimes. Um, figure you'll get ahead of it. And hey, you know, but if yeah, it gets if it gets more eyeballs it gets more eyeballs on a promotion or an individual wrestler, okay, all for it. Okay. I mean hey, Facade's been on Botchamania a ton of times and he's in India with Great Khali teaching people how to wrestle. Speaking of which, Riz, how jealous are you true, of that? That's true. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. I cannot wait for Riz. facade's going to come back. I'm going to get Riz on the couch with facade, so he <laughs> will have the interview. But so then we'll have a, a second Riz interview. Will, Riz will just smell facade yeah. and be like, "You still like, smell like Holly." <laughs> <laughs> it smells like him. Will it be another picture like he did when we went to the NXT show? 
the picture where of I'm the group where he's just fraud. like, no, where, where you're hugging uh, Matt Carlin's, but that you're gonna, it's going to be worse f- with facade. I have a feeling. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, the, I probably won't be wearing any pants. The the oh, what? Well, what? speaking of things Whoa. that if you want to stay wow. home and not wear pants while you're podcasting and want it delivered, uh, hit up Slice on Broadway, our good friends here, right on the tracks here in Beachview, as well as in East Liberty, as well as Carnegie PA and PSC, PNC Park, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Thank you to these guys for helping us with our podcasting and feeding our guests here and keeping us warm on the snowy night with the wonderful pepperoni pizza from them. Thank you so much. Check them out, SliceOnBroadway.com. On, the, uh, on the, all your social medias, Slice on Broadway on the Instagram, Facebook, and PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. Please don't kick the door down, because they're good friends of us. I know you're excited. Don't, don't even put your shoe on the door. That's no, very no, 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 no. Wipe also your feet. Wipe out. your feet why before you go in and get your above pizza. Your head? Yeah. Why, why is your feet above your waistline? There you go. <laughs> put it down on the ground. I mean, open the know. door. Say hi. They're friendly people. They I've are. been in there. They are. They like to talk about wrestling here in the uh, in the Beachview location. Uh, doing a lot of that. So, uh, Riz wants to be Facade's partner for the next trip to India. Yes, I do. What are you going to teach him? <laughs> well, you can go. Well, one, you can probably fit in a suitcase. I'm not teaching anything. I'm just going to, you know, You're just going to hang out. Just hang out. Did you see? Hang did out. you see Facade like it, the video at like 1:30 in the afternoon here? It was New Year's in India. And oh, yeah. and he was he was live <laughs> streaming from Facebook, just like walking around, like people were dancing in the training facility, and there's just like great Kali on his cell phone God, hanging out by the fire, you know, or something. It was it was amazing, and he's just like, so I was like, what? Great Kali, just chilling. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh uh, boy. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to it. So uh, another speaking of of local stuff. This was a tweet that was pretty... Uh, I saw this in my feed the other day. Stephanie McMahon tweets, Wow, RMU is offering a course on WWE entitled A Survey of WWE. Thank you to Robert Morris University, the students, and everyone involved. School has never been so fun. Uh, sign, hashtag sign me up. Uh, and there it is. Uh, so this is happening. Again, we, we've talked with Tom Liturgy of KSWA, Trapper Tom, uh, about his course he was having at, at the local... Um, uh, community college uh, about the history of Pittsburgh wrestling. He's done stuff on Bruno San Martino in the past. And it's cool to see there's even more happening there. And even a friend of the show, Doug, uh, with uh, Should I Drink That, actually used to be a part of RMU, uh, 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 working with them over there. So, uh, uh, you know, kind of out there by the airport, but still really cool to see uh, uh, some some wrestling also. Man, you know, wish, kind of make, wish they had these kind of courses when I was in college. Right, Riz? Right. I, I... Definitely do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if if you can tell me I can get college credits for just talking about wrestling, mm-hmm. that would be amazing. Yeah. So, sign me up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I want to go back to school for that. Just take that class and then drop out, probably. It'd be really funny if, like, you're required to keep kayfabe in that class. No, oh, no. <laughs> that would be pretty easy for me. <laughs> but just just imagine like explain the complex familial relationship between the undertaker kane and paul bearer mm-hmm. a, little and, bit, oh. a little bit of clarification <laughs> on top of this uh a oh, re- response from rmu um this is apparently the sports management students so so it's kind of cool that that's being included in there as well so there you go if you're that's, local that's that's pretty sweet I mean, yeah, I wish that was in my college. I wish that was, I mean, I mean, there was a Batman literature, but. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of that kind of stuff going yeah, around. Yeah, it's like, it like comic book literature. There's a Batman class at West Live, but mm-hmm. I, I I didn't need it. So, I mean, but that been a lot of fun, but. Is there like a philosophy of WWE out there? Because there's like a philosophy of Batman, philosophy of uh, Star Trek, things like that. I, I, I'm not sure. That'd be, I, I, it probably could, though. There's a lot of. So maybe in psychology too, you can mm-hmm. probably, probably incorporate. You can probably incorporate it. I mean, and, and this is I don't I, know, but <laughs> I think I think that I like the idea of like Tom Liturgy doing this at CCAC mm-hmm. because me as an individual person can take a course at CCAC. Right. I don't think I could do that at RMU just to be able to attend. Yeah, this I, don't, class. I don't know. They do dropping classes like that. For, no, for but I, I know that CCAC mm-hmm. does. So 
we just need to have these at CCAC. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. So hey, you never know. They could expand things like this. I mean, there's a lot There's a lot with it. I mean, it's a different kind of business model and everything that everybody can kind of learn a little bit from. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to I wanna touch on, let's let's preview a little bit uh, something that, that I think is near and dear to Mad Mike's heart, maybe more than anybody here, because he, he lived through a lot of these, and, and you can find him in some of the old editions of monday night raw but raw 25 <laughs> is going to be next week there's an ad actually running on smackdown right now as i talk as i look down at my phone to see the, the stream um I, uh, I think they just spoiled a lot of women that are going to be in that royal rumble match <laughs> yeah <laughs> they should i think they just spoiled a lot of them what do you yeah. what do you think a bunch and, of those a bunch of those uh guests next week are going to be popping up the Bellas, michelle mccool kelly kelly maria mm-hmm. the undertaker uh, jacqueline yeah well, well, and again, like I, I hate, said, you, I hate that they're spoiling so much stuff. If I'm not mistaken, so I know you 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 attend a lot of the early Raws up there in Poughkeepsie. Um, yep. Did you attend the Manhattan Center in those days? No, uh, I was also ten. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you have to remember <laughs> that was quite a while ago, Sork. It was 25 years ago. Like 25 was, years. It was quite a while. <laughs> So I was ten. So you're old. I I mean no, I wasn't that much older. But I um, mean, uh, I, I you know I I occasionally tried to hop the rails. Um, no, I, I mean I, I was. Like I've 12. never attended um, the Manhattan Center for a WWE show, unfortunately. No, no, and I've of course only, we've been. I've only gone there for Ring of Honor. Yeah, of course we've been That'd to be Hammerstein cool. for Ring of Honor and things like that. But uh, you know, but but being somebody who who's who's you know attended maybe more Raws than any of us here. Um, it, it's so the the word is the first hour is going to be from the Manhattan Center, with the rest of it being from Barclay. Is it Barclay? Yeah, yes, Barclay. So, so that's 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 weird. That's weird. Yeah, first like the first hour is going to be Raw's War. The next hour is going to be Warzone. <laughs> Seems <laughs> familiar. That's how it works. Uh, they have separate pyro, and during the middle of the match, they're going to have pyro. And it's going to be weird. They used to do bus? that. I, I want, I want the main event of the first hour in the Manhattan Center to be the Undertaker versus Damian Demento. <laughs> I don't know how this would happen, <laughs> but I really just want that for some reason. <laughs> oh, it'd be something. Just like I, I want Damian Sandow to come back as Damian Demento <laughs> for that one night work. only. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> but uh, here's uh, what is what is going to make the hour at the Manhattan Center so special? Well, I, I think you'll have a lot of throwback segments. I mean, Undertaker or Shawn Michaels, they I, and I think they are both confirmed did to be hear, at the Manhattan Center, right? Did I hear the Rock and Roll Express is going to be there? Why not? No, 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 no. Wait, no, no, no. No, I'm thinking of uh, if, hey, if the Rock and Roll Express are there, they better go after Woken Matt. I mean, uh, that's, where I re- that's what I remembered because uh, the Rock and Roll Express and the Hardys are the new, the new DLC in 2K7, 2K18. So we can oh, yeah. live that moment. Oh, so you can you can do the uh, broken battle for the oh jeez, what did they call it? Um, oh, Apocalypto. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. you can reenact Apocalypto, but in a wrestling ring. Oh lordy, that was a lot of fun. I'm I'm terrified about what this raw could be. Because hmm. I have a feel like oh. see. Here's the thing that bugs me about it. everyone they've announced. There's no way in hell there any of them are wrestling. No, no, <laughs> it, it's going to be a lot of segments. No. There's going to be a lot but, of a, a lot of a lot of things like that. I you know, want, and that's... I want to see like like mid card guys, like mid card legends, who will actually get in the ring and wrestle. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Like, I want to see Steve Blackman break up an Elias segment. Oh, my God. Right? Doesn't that just sound great? It, Doesn't that just sound fantastic? I would, I would love it. <laughs> or, like, the Revival say they're the greatest tag team in the world, and they're a throwback. And then, oh, no, here comes Bo and Blake Beverly. Like, oh. Come on. Or the Quebecers. How about okay, the I'll, I'll give Quebecers? You- like... I'll give you. I'll give you the Quebecers. I will not take the Beverly Brothers. I was just watching. Put the put the stream on the other day, and they're playing a classic RAW that began with uh, the Beverly Brothers in the back being paid off by Money Inc. to get tips on. I believe the champions were the Steiner Brothers at the time. 
I believe. Probably. And by the way, the worst tips, uh, uh, Keith. I don't know. I don't know how strategizing in professional wrestling actually works for you guys. But saying, "Hey, man, don't get in the Frankenstein,er is is that really a tip? <laughs> in that point, yes. I mean, if you're from a psychological sense, it wouldn't want to happen. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> don't let him hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I think as we like hindsight's twenty twenty. I think the best way to counteract the Steiner brothers is while in rest holds, ask him math questions. <laughs> <laughs> it completely flummoxes any kind of Scott Steiner or Frankensteiners you might be experiencing. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, geez. <laughs> Um, but no, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I, I say we're gonna we just announced we're trying to do a watch party here uh, in the studio. We'll have a special edition of the Raw wrap up afterwards with whoever might be in attendance to help out with that uh, uh, on Facebook Live. So uh, oh, I'm looking forward scary. to it. <gasps> oh, Billy Johnson has a great point in the chat. What's that? Oh, uh, Billy, Billy, can you book Raw 25, please? Uh, oh no, I see it. I see it. Oh no, I, I want that too. so bad. That's what about <laughs> Guerrero interrupting Elias with "Excuse me." Dave says we yes. need we need Scotty Too Hotty and Grandmaster dance off with Braun in the elf costume. By the way, we <laughs> talked about this on Raw Wrap Up. I want to know what Braun's story was going to be last night. Sorg, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Spoiler alert for the end of Elf, but Buddy the Elf tells a story about himself. Braun was going to tell the story about Brawny the Elf. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, of course, we are going to have JR and King doing commentary. I'm guessing that's going to be from Manhattan Center. Yes. Most likely. Most likely, I would assume. Right? Oh, right. who knows, though? Michael Cole got taken out last week. Yeah, you never know. Michael Cole. By the way, props for Michael Cole at this point in his career, still taking, like, uh, he got caught, but still taking something like that. The risk is still there, though. Wait, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, Wait. absolutely. Wait. So is that how they're setting up bringing in king and jr to do commentary for next week is that oh michael hey, cole's out hey my hey cole just take a vacation day it's okay who cares if you've been here for 15 of the 25 years of raw um <laughs> yeah you know um it, it does seem like we do this every every couple of years because there, there's always something like let's celebrate the thousandth episode of raw let's celebrate 10 years of raw right or, or 20 years of raw uh 25 mm -hmm. I yep. was surprised when watching the uh, 25 uh, uh, Moments countdown, there were a lot of recent things. Being it was an used. online poll, I think. It was, it was an, an online, online poll? poll? Okay, then that makes sense. Um, oh, sorry about that. I don't know. What, what was, oh, um, my well, battery's unplugged. I don't know if anyone wants to... I don't know if anyone wants... What was number one? Because I tried watching it last uh, night. I, I know asleep. number two was the pipe bomb, but I forget what number one was. Was It the, It was probably the beer truck. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm... I'm get, yeah, okay. I forget. <laughs> I watched, but I forgot what, what that's like. Yeah, I mean, it, it, as soon as I saw top twenty-five, I'm like, oh, number one's probably has to be the beer truck. That's pretty iconic. Yeah, that's, that's pretty iconic. Is Sorg okay? Is Sorg okay? I Sorg, Sorg is burrowing in the ground. It's all right. Sorry, I'm dead. plugging in the laptop so you guys don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. everything Yay. is fine. Woo! Everything is fine. I just, you know, no, we good. We good. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, the end of Raw would have been cool if uh, if it goes off with a cake guy still standing there after Braun takes a piece. Cake guy last night was my favorite point of last night. Oh, I, that was perfect. cake guy just standing there was awesome. I, I kind of also go ahead. Um, I don't know. I I kept on saying it was. Archie, but I was informed that it was Artie Evans that was in the background of two shots already, both looking very confused. <laughs> um, ow. like the bald guy that that ran when Braun Strowman came after him, <laughs> and he was just like, "There's another part of him where he was just like going back, rocking back and forth, trying to figure out what just happened." Uh, those two were. Uh, pieces of standby people or standby areas of doing nothing. But yeah, the cake guy was my favorite of the entire show. Mm -hmm. That but was Braun betrayed his one weakness, you guys. Chocolate Just cake. like Kevin Hart in Jumanji, his weakness is cake. Cake. Mm -hmm. His weakness is cake. Now, now you know, you guys don't know this. Uh, Brock Lesnar is that is that a very avid baker? 
It's a very avid baker. So uh, he's going to wheel a giant cake at the Royal Rumble, and that's how they're going to uh, let Brock keep the title. <laughs> it's, just, it's just truth. <laughs> it's just truth. It's how it's going to happen. Oh, my God. And inside the cake, Kane. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Fire comes up. Fire comes from the cake. It's like a giant well, cake. Well, Kane's only in it because it's red velvet cake. Oh. Uh, I'm it, sorry. No, no, actually, I'm sorry. That's 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 incorrect. But that's a fair pun. Devil's food cake. Okay. Uh, All right. Um, yeah. You need to do what EC3 did and just bow out and just, just go. Just bow and walk away. All right. We'll talk about away. EC3 uh, after the break here in the big question, of course. But uh, is, is this Missy? Is this this is something that just came across from Labar, right? Okay, so apparently, um, this is breaking news. Um, the, we, need like a, we need like a dun, 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 mayhem breaking news. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, so uh, this is, and I went, if it wasn't for a source that I'm pretty sure is a pretty decent one between Labar talking about it and it's coming from Bleacher Report. Apparently, Bleacher Report, according to Justin Labar, friend of the show, uh, just sent out an alert for that Rowan Reigns is being named as a client accused by a steroid distributor in Miami. Ooh. Oh, shocker. <laughs> We're all like, who? And Mike's like, yep. Uh, um, yeah. He already got popped once he got last bu- year. He got busted. Oh, he did. That's right. That, that's yeah. not surprising. And he got popped while he was the champion. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, that's... And who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> But anyways, um, but no, that 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 is tough. Going into Royal Rumble and WrestleMania season, I'll be curious to see what happens there. If there's any reaction, I didn't see if there was anything in particular happening with the Usos. I know there was a DOI with one of uh, Jay Uso over the weekend. He was, he was uh, on SmackDown. He was on I mean, SmackDown. I think it means that the Usos are losing the tag titles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean. A DUI I mean, I can... versus like beating your girlfriend, wife, whatever she was. Yeah, yeah, I and mean... it has been stated that uh, Rich Swan, if if convicted, will be will be um, uh, let go let from it. the WWE. That that was like Stephanie McMahon or somebody um, said that very explicitly at some point. Stephanie, yeah, so, somebody said in an interview, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I think it's good that they're not outright letting them go on the accusation and just letting it, you know, whatever play out before they do. So. Um, just see what happens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it, it really does. You know, same with the DUI. It's a shame because they just came out for Rich Swan uh, action figure too. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, hey cat! Oh, hey lady. <laughs> Keith, Keith has a cat. The bear cat is for uh, real, you guys. It's okay. We have we have a history of of people bringing on their animals to the show. Yep. There there are several there are several below my feet. I have a lot of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, on that at that point, uh, speaking yeah. of uh, Keith Hot and his uh, love for animals and and fuzzy ring gear, um, you can check that out yourself over at <clears throat> excuse me indywrestling dot us. Oh, yes. <laughs> I heard the music. There's something happening over there. Uh, but over at IndieWrestling dot us, you can look up Keith on uh, at least his matches here with the uh, with the um, uh, the IWC. Um, I forget if we have any other promotions that you've been a part of, like with uh, Pete in Cleveland or anything like that, uh, Keith. Uh, um, uh, well, I've worked for uh, well, I'm currently working for Rise as well now. They're mm-hmm. in uh, located Lamont, uh, L- L- Lamont Furnace. Uh, they're pretty rad. Um, work for PCW Premier Championship Wrestling in Cleveland. They're pretty, pretty awesome there too. Haven't been there in a while, but but I you know hope to get back at some point. Uh, if you were there, we got it over at IndieWrestling.us. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. Sorg's on it with uh, Sorgatron Media. You can check out his uh, his night uh, uh, where Booker T uh, was. Was he refereeing the match or you're in, in your uh, corner? Enf- enforcer. Enforcer. He was the enforcer, enforcer for your match with the fraternity uh, with the tag belts uh, that, from Night of the Superstars, I believe, five in Meville, PA. All that Thanks. available over at IndieWrestling.us. And, of course, you can get 33% off with the code uh, New Year 2018 on digital downloads. And also, while you're at it, also check out, you can rent several titles uh, that we've added on here through our new video on demand system. Uh, That's cool. That's start- cool. I know you can do that now. Uh, it's a brand new thing, and it works on your phone and iPads as well. So uh, check it out. 
It's a new system we're doing. We're building up a new section over there on IndieWrestling.us. And also, we have, uh, if you're local in the area, and I know a lot of you guys out there are, or if you happen to be visiting, no, not PittsburghParking.com, PittsburghWrestling.com. It's been auto-completing for me lately. Uh, we just updated it. I'm trying to. We're trying to do a little bit of a a, a one-stop source for anybody who's interested in, in wrestling in and around Pittsburgh. Uh, we uh, completely got the idea from SoCal Uncensored, which is really awesome. No, not the Ring of Honor faction. I thought that was funny uh, when I watched Ring of Honor last week. Uh, but you can go through and it answers that question. Is there indie wrestling near me this weekend if you're in the Pittsburgh area? And, uh, for instance, if you look at the month of February, the answer is always yes between the promotions here. Um, uh, promotions listed within an hour drive uh, of Pittsburgh as we're discovering them. Uh, so our friends from KSWA, RWA, IWC, Rise Wrestling, even Black Diamond, uh, Black Diamond. is a part of that. Fight Society is in there, too. Uh, there is a lot of pro wrestling in the Pittsburgh area. And you can find out more about it. And again, we're kind of uh, uh, looking at uh, things that are happening. We have listings in there for our friend of the show, the Rev Ron Hunt, being listed on uh, corner, uh, being interviewed on uh, uh, the Nightlife program on Cornerstone Television, and of course the recent uh, Trapper Tom Liturgy being featured in the Pittsburgh Post Gazette as well. And and the uh, of course the Anthony Bourdain with a uh, friend of the show Britt Baker as well as Adam Cole and the IWC being featured. So, again, if there's anything uh, uh, featuring a wrestling in Pittsburgh, please let, please let us know through the contact page on there. And, uh, yes, 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 in the front, you have a question. What about the story about Britt Baker? Dental student by day, Ooh, professional wrestler by night. That needs to go in there, too. That, it so does. It, and, again, it, when, when so many, when, you know, so many times I run into people and I say, and they say, oh, I didn't know there's professional wrestling in Pittsburgh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you should totally see Sword's no, face I mean, when that happens. And, and it, Keith, depends, it depends on what they consider professional wrestling. They may just consider WWE to be professional oh, wrestling. Oh, absolutely. They may not even know about A lot of people that's, that's don't know. Majority. What's that, Keith? Sorry, I, I'm sorry to, to cut you off. It's, it's probably the majority. A lot of people really just don't know. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's, yeah. Unless, unless you know somebody or you see the advertising, perhaps, you know. It's... It's not easy. <laughs> and absolutely. And a lot of it happens outside of Pittsburgh, uh, a, a decent distance. So it, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we're kind of helping trying to, I want to, I want to make sure less people have an excuse. Or if you have somebody that says, Oh, I didn't know there was wrestling in this town. You can say, go to pittsburghwrestling.com and you can find all of it and what's really going on. So, um, so I'm hoping that's going to be a, a new extra service that, that'll, uh, kind of grow here in the year. Um, with, uh, you know, uh, from indie wrestling.us and what we're doing in the area to help uh, make wrestling and get out there uh, in the area. So, all right, uh, we are going to be uh, right back with the big question. And I'm going to talk to you about how I'm watching Impact Wrestling again with Mad Mike and probably oh, hear him why? grumble. Why? I'll probably why? hear him grumble. Why? <laughs> right after this. We'll be right back. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is time for the big question. We got with us, you know, the whole crew. We got Mad Mike scra scratching his chin or something. I don't know. He's doing some dancing. He's doing <laughs> he's, he's doing the Poo Kipsy poke. Is Keith Hot, the uh, professional <laughs> professional wrestler Keith Hot, joining us from uh, West Virginia? If my geography is okay, is, is correct. Wheeling, you are correct. There you go. And of course, the Riz also with us, hanging out as well. Uh, Hi. But anyways, it is. Oh, you have to click the thing. It is time for the big question, and we talked a little bit about Raw twenty five, and it is we we have seen the top twenty five moments from the fan poll. We had a fun little video where uh, Sean Mooney, who apparently lives with the Gobbledygooker in the uh, <laughs> in the warehouse, uh, Sir, did don't a thing. question their love. I'm not. Hey, Don't man. Question their love. It's 2018, <laughs> man. Everything goes. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> especially especially in a place that has so many caskets. Um, and, wow. Um, <laughs> that, that got dark. I got dark, Sork. Hey, it works for Lucha Underground, you know. And by That's the way, true. just because we just saw live on SmackDown, cover your ears if you don't want spoilers for SmackDown during the show. Cover your ears. Cover your ears. Congratulations oh. to the new United States champion, Bobby Roode. The great Kelly. What? Glory. What? Kelly Kelly. Gloria. 
house. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. I can't wait to watch that match in the full later. Uh, but anyways, uh, it was really good. It was really good. It, just it, looked, it looked real good from what I was seeing um, um, off the side here. Uh, and of course, the mixed match Whoa. challenge is about to happen. They're showing the top 25 thing on USA. Yep, yep, yes, they I are. That, yeah. yes, they That's are. That's weird. That's weird. I don't really, like that. Really wrong with it. But <laughs> anyway, like that. That, that means we're going to get a three hour SmackDown soon. That's not going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see. There's a lot of programming happening tonight. But anyways, so use the hour. <laughs> so uh, what is the worst moments? Not all top twenty-five worst moments mm. of Raw, yeah. and, and and I'm and I'm oh. asking you guys to reach deep for this one. Not the usuals that we say, say not the hand, not the you know you know things like that, or choppy choppy pee pee. What 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 do you think were the worst moments of Raw? It has not all been great. It's not all been great, guys. When Good you do, when you do one to three hours a week every week, most of it live. You know, it's not all going to win. Uh, who wants to go first? Um, I, oh, man. Uh, who, who wants it? I was gonna say, no, no, you, you I don't like it. to be negative so much on this show, yeah, but no. I figured it'd be more I, fun yeah. with this. Well, yeah, it's more oh, yeah. fun. It's more yeah. fun. Everyone talks about the top moments, like the bottom moments are fun too. Mm-hmm. You, gotta um, take the, you gotta take the bad of the good, you gotta take the bad of the good. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I, I, might, I might as well. Bring this show to a halt here. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! I think I'm uh, really going. Um, oh no! 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 It was. It, I I don't want to say it because it it started off as a as a as a good tribute. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! And then when Second the week in a row, <laughs> when the show started going and the news came out. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It oh. started getting horrible. Oh. Because they wouldn't stop. And it's like, uh. you notice halfway through the memories, it's like. Oh, no. Of course, the, 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 the what I'm talking about is the. Uh, the McMahon Million Dollar the- Mania. <laughs> oh. oh. No. Oh, thank God. Hell no. Oh, you got me. It's like, hell please, please no. <laughs> That's that's pretty bad though. Hello? I mean, I mean, yes. Hello? I mean, yes. Um, but still, but still. How do you do Facebook? Whole... Watch anybody know? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do that. You need a watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. Need so, a... so I actually, so I do actually need a watch. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. The, the... <laughs> Just you need a whole face, show. You need a book. You need a watch. You need all those it's things. Still going, by the way. This is so weird. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I, I was just, Chris, Chris, like, just just say it. Just blurt it out. The, the, ben, the whole Ben Watch review was whole, like <laughs> just, just was just awkward and wrong and bad in in hindsight. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, Ugh. it was it, an it's it's an unfortunate situation, right? That they yes. got caught in, right? I mean, it was the initial reaction, and you know, what are you going to do beyond that? Uh, by the way, like I, thirty I did, minutes into it, it's like, ooh, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you realize what was going on. Uh, by the way, some live notes here. Mixed Mac Challenge has happened. Michael Cool is back. He he has yeah. recovered since last night, yeah. uh, and he's a part of this. And uh, also, I want to uh, point out that 205 Live is now uh, starting at 1030. So in case oh, you're cool. wondering what that situation was going oh to be. Oh, my God. Natalia did a Snapchat video or an Instagram video where it turned her and Nakamura into cats. Meow. Oh, of course he did, right? So Yeah. But anyways, uh, Mad Mike, what is your... What is your uh, uh, Worst oh. moment because right. I right. nobody uh. can get any worse than the Rizzes. Let's be honest about that. <laughs> it was probably nope. the worst moment in wrestling history. I mean, uh, I mean, so this was when this is like the equivalent to Chachi and I picking Chris Benoit and uh, No Mercy. <laughs> Mike, uh, all right. Um, well, Dave Podner actually agrees mm-hmm. with me. Um, Raw no, Raw has had a lot of people in charge of it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people. Some of them have been great, like your Eric Bischoffs, <laughs> your Mick Foley's. Some of them have been mediocre, like that one time Maven was GM. Um, but never in the history of Raw has there been anything more annoying 
than the anonymous Raw general manager. Hornswoggle? What? No, no, no. no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The concept is fine. I don't argue with the concept because technically you don't need a person to be a general manager. You just need someone to make matches. Mm Mm-hmm. It's, it's However, a very, very big letdown. That's all I gotta say. Well, I'm not. I'm not even getting the reveal. Okay, Hornswoggle so sucked. There have been worse <laughs> reveals in Raw. There have been worse <laughs> reveals in Raw history. That is true. That is true. But the thing that made it absolutely unbearable was heel Michael Cole. <laughs> heel Michael Cole was like that was a point where I almost stopped watching wrestling. And, uh, and it's the reason I stopped watching Impact well, well, because Josh Matthews got in he- got his soul got corrupted <laughs> by heel Michael Cole, <laughs> and the product was so much worse that I just stopped it completely. I want to point out when we were talking on the on the twelfth birthday last last year or, or last week about um, how oh that point where we're really gunning for like Impact to be the thing right and TNA Wrestling to be the thing. I think this is the era where we're like, ah, maybe TNA is pretty good because that's what we were comparing it to was this area with yeah. a heel Michael Cole. Yeah. Like I, I went to, I went to watch the, um, the 40 man Royal rumble. Cause I, I like to watch some classic rumble matches, you know, in, in preparation. Cause the rumbles is, is, is ama- an amazing match. Oh I God. could not get through it because it started with the new Nexus and the core brawling Cor- and then and then yeah core like core Ruby, Ri- Ruby riot should be in the core but, but then the anonymous raw general manager came in and michael cole was a heel the whole time and josh matthews was actually his broadcast commenter so if you think the spirit of michael cole didn't leap into josh matthews you're fucking wrong <laughs> it just took a while to manifest uh, <laughs> But I couldn't that's watch form, it. That's former. I couldn't watch it because it was wrestling so... world champion you're talking about. Wait, what? Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews is a former Impact Wrestling champion. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm so glad I'm not fucking watching that shit anymore. <laughs> yeah. That is terrible. Uh, that is absolutely terrible. So watch your mouth. Um, but, but yeah, no, the, the anonymous Royal General Manager was. The time where I almost stopped watching Raw. Uh, Missy, it was so terrible. Missy, what do you got over there? I've I've got one. You, you got one. I've got one. Okay, now you watch Raw. You watched a lot of wrestling in your time with your grandmother, with your family. Yes. And yes, the worst is. Well, it's it's been pretty much the ones that everybody's been mentioning. So okay, I'm okay. To go, trying to go back through my history. Of okay, you're going back. You're going back. And, and I'm not going far, far back. Mm-hmm. Because I realized that I really hated this when they did this. When they in, when they implicated that uh, Daniel Bryan was having an affair with his therapist. <sighs> I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Why, why would we need to do this? I mean, obviously, I, he is completely devoted to Brie. Right, why right, right, why right. would you need to do this? Is this a rating stunt? Is this, what is this? It lasted all I don't of, remember that. Thank you, because I wish I didn't. <laughs> um, um, it, it did have friend of the show, Laurel Van Ness. True, but still, I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, like, yeah, you, you've, you've really scraped literally the bottom of the barrel on this one. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly, I, I put that storyline lower than I put the hand. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Because at least the birth of a hand was somewhat creative in comparison. Mm-hmm. This was just, oh, we'll toss in an affair. <laughs> <laughs> the hand is kind of like the, the the hand is kind of like the room of wrestling. It's kind of like in that category, yeah. I, I think now. Uh, does is, that like, mean? <laughs> does that mean that when the hand came back, that's sort of like the disaster artist of wrestling? Yeah, yeah, I guess I get that. Because now it's like, oh, we remember that. Here's the hand. He's all grown up. <laughs> James Franco should have played the hand. Oh my God! That, that, give, that, give, that, give that hand another Academy Award. Oh God! <laughs> that seems right. Give that hand a hand. <laughs> Jeez, Keith, what is your uh, worst raw moment memory? Uh, two, two, two kind of two most recent ones come to mind. For not talking about like any of the old ones, uh, for me, it's definitely probably got to be 
the old days, one of them, and then the Bailey, this is your life. Those uh, were really, really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I love Bailey, and I love all the guys of all those segments, but man, none of them just, none of them, none of them clicked. The Bailey, this is your life. I thought I was like, oh my God, I would rather do anything else but watch this. Nobody could save that sake of it. And I mean, Alexa tried, but mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just it's everything you don't want to do in a segment. <laughs> Like it's supposed to make Bailey get, Bailey get sympathy, but at the same time you're just making her look like a kid. What's the point of this? Mm-hmm. And the old day, I don't know anybody. Does anybody remember the old day segment at all? Yeah, that one I don't remember now. Unfortunately, uh, well, I do. It, it, was, it, was, it was. I think it was around that time that the time machine segment, which was really cool. The time machine segment was really cool, but they just it was basically just uh, the club brought out like old guys dressed as the, the new day, and really nothing happened. And they'd be up to set set young guys dressed as old guys. It just, it really just fell flat, but I don't, I don't know if that's as bad as the Bailey segment. I don't know. Just think of how good the, the Rock and Mankind segment is, if this is your life, and then just, then think of how not good that is. Or the Festival it's, of Friendship. And, and so, much, and so, yeah, oh my God. And so much so that, that, that's like, I think Stephanie McMahon put down, um, um, Alexa Bliss the next week saying about how it was like the worst segment on Raw ever. Like on oh the show, God. they did that. No, that, that was Kurt Angle. Kurt was Angle, Kurt Angle. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was it Kurt? It was Kurt. It. We got Either plenty way, from the chat. Terrible. We got plenty from the chat. Uh, Brandon's pointing out when uh, they put Michael Cole in a cube so that Lawler couldn't attack him. <laughs> yeah, oh, the, 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 the coal mine. The coal mine. The coal mine. It was. It, it was. It was, was, was kind of decent on 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 picture though. Uh, but anyways, grab a tie. Just you should just pulled a little bit harder. Um, the cool. the Jerry the, the Jerry the King Lawler and his son segment was that was pretty yeah. bad too. With Brian, that was bad. Oh, when like that Brian was Christopher bad. was like telling him how bad of a dad he was. Yeah, during the cold thing. Oh yeah. Uh, did McMahon's son was, was that revealed? Whoa, we got we got a weird a sketchiness on your connection there, buddy. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, I heard, heard, yeah, yeah, I couldn't hear a word you said. Let's say oh, that yeah, again, Riz. I'm, I'm sorry, you know. I good. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Was the was the McMahon son segment on Raw too, or is that on? Yeah, Smack? I think yep. it was. I think that yeah. was a Raw segment. Um, another, again, Hornswoggle. Another yeah. one that was pointed out here. Another um, Hornswoggle. <laughs> and I can't believe all of us forgot this. Mike Adamley as a whole. Oh, I remembered that, but I didn't mention <laughs> I it. I give him. He's not that. Me. I give him credit for trying. He, I do too. I do too. He tried, and besides. Jeff Harvey is one of the best WWE superstars of all time. <laughs> it's, a, it's on Botchamania. It's a Botchamania intro. I'm, I still oh, think yeah. it's in there. Mm-hmm. Jeff, Jeff Harvey. Harvey. Jeff Harvey. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Um, from there, uh, you, you know, jeez, man, I, I can't. I don't know if I can beat at, uh, Mike Adamley on that one. Um, oh no, no, no! I got one. I got one. The uh, Snitsky, it's not my fault. Oh, God. oh how <laughs> dare you, sir? How dare you? I mean, the only time when there was, you know, an accidental abortion on television, um, Sorg. on live TV. Sorg, those are fighting words. Wait. Those are fighting. You I'm kicked a child into the crowd, <laughs> Sorg. <laughs> Punting or, the fake sure. baby or real baby, yes. depending on how wrestling is to you. Is it a is it a bad time to mention Katie Vick? <laughs> Anytime bad time to mention that, that, Katie. That's um, one of those stock answers, unfortunately. We, we also had another it, one. I know, I know, I know, I know. Dave Podner mentioned Midget Brett. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Midget Brett. Mm. That was. You know, that was wait, wait, wait. Bad. There's been a lot of Midget Everybody's, which is equally like the greatest and the worst thing on wrestling right now. So yeah. when you look back at I'll, it, I'll be honest. The the best Midget uh, instance. Was the Midget Dudleys and the Midget Hardys. Oh, here's, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Those here's the here's best. one that I'm thinking of too now. What's that? Trish Stratus barking like a dog. Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Please don't hit my dog. I forgot that was on Raw, but yeah, that's that's pretty terrible. That is pretty terrible. Yeah. Like that was just, I mean, as a woman, I was watching that going, are you freaking kidding me? Like, hey, here's how's... another one that you probably loved as a woman HLA. Oh, Poor. but that was but that was, that was consensual. <laughs> well, yeah, so it's okay. okay. Okay, all right, all right. It was I consensual. Just... Oh, okay. Any, it any was sensationalism? Was, I like, they up... But they I said it was sensationalism. I thought right, like, right, right, that right. doesn't <laughs> it. That doesn't excuse it, but 
at least they knew, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they still look kind of uncomfortable, though. One yeah, that's, that, I'm, that's, I'm gonna. I'm that's gonna just... really memorable. The one that's really memorable that's that for me was kind of weird, and off and really off. Uh, the well, let's see, who was it? This is Stephanie McMahon who got the uh, crucified. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that yeah, was the, a, the dark wedding. Yeah. Oh yeah, the dark, wedding, dark wedding, <laughs> That entire thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna. We're gonna rape and kill her after I marry her on the cross. Yes, <laughs> that's basically and, what that was. And then Austin and that's actually the got. Second... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, and then Austin got tied to it and actually like yeah. Yeah. pulled up and hung in front of the raw yeah. Titan truck. Yeah. It was me. Was that oh, raw? God. Yeah. All right. Was well, it, was, it was me raw. We've got two more in here. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Billy Johnson is talking about the Triple H and Katie Vick storyline. Of course. And then uh-huh. Tina Keys mentions the Jerry Piven guest hosting. Ooh. Oh, summer, summer fest. fest. Okay. Oh, let's let's do a lightning oh. round of bad guest hosts. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> All right, oh. I think I think that we save the bad well, guest hosts for another. Can we can, can, can we at least start the good ones? Because uh, I think we can count on one hand the good ones. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, the I, Muppets: I Bar know. Barker, Betty White, <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Uh, Ozzy was okay. Ozzy wasn't that uh, bad. Uh, Ozzy was what was, you expected from yeah, Ozzy, right? Was, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, about any sports star was pretty bad. Eh. The summer, the, the Sha- summer. Shaq was okay. The summer fest. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. the summer fest. Oh. God damn it, Jeremy! And Jeremy <laughs> Piven dove off the top rope in the main event. One of the one of the worst ones though, and this is gonna be far none by me. Uh, the Three Stooges. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, yeah, the four Stooges. No, yeah. no, no, wait, 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 well, 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 at least we saw Will Sasso. Yeah, Will Sasso. An awesome bump. Will Sasso yeah. made it because he, he always takes a bump, I think, every time he's on. I would have <laughs> rather just Will Sasso hosted that time because he's a legit <laughs> wrestling fan. Yeah, he loves wrestling from what I've come to hear. Yeah. It, it was kind of cool to find the ones that, that were serious about it. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you're just like, oh, you actually watch this versus, oh, somebody told me to be here. Right. Or yeah. I watch wrestling, but I don't really get it. Right. You know, like, or, like those or I'm people. here to plug my my stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, I mean, it, it, it's kind of a little bit of a callback. Like it's like Elvira on commentary at WrestleMania, too. Hey, hey, hey. hey, Elvira was much better than the other guest commentators they had. This is true. Regis. Regis. He had Regis. No, Regis was fine, but they okay. had Regis was good. Yeah, Regis was pretty good. Yeah. Nobody beats Bob during, Uecker. All right, anyways. There's someone else during the, wait, wait, Mike, the New York segment. That was terrible. Real Mike. quick, the worst on... Oh, sorry. I was about to say, worst on commentary was by far Florida Georgia Line. They talked about the album Dirt, and I heard Dirt oh. about 5,000 times. And and anytime like, anytime a, musician, a musician or a NASCAR star was a guest on Raw, I'm like, oh, this could be a tough slot. Yeah, yeah, usually. It's, it's gonna be uh, tough. Because it worked for TNA Wrestling. Uh, anyways, before we get to even that subject, sorry, sorry, Mad sorry, Mike, sorry. Mad Mike, <laughs> yes. I, I am so yes. sorry. We skipped it last year. Uh-huh. I've skipped uh-huh. it the last several weeks because other things going on. But, Mike, we're, we're three weeks into 2018. You have predictions. Uh-huh. What, yes, are your, what are your um, predictions for the rest of right. 2018 so in this email? I want, I want to say I made these on December 12th. I have timestamp emails so, for proof. Yes. Timestamp. Time stamp, because t- none of these have happened yet. But, all right. So, um, as, as standard, I do four predictions. Um, a Perfect. WWE prediction was that somehow, some way, Matt Hardy will punch an owl on WWE television. <laughs> <laughs> I still hope I still hope that's true. Um, a TNA prediction. Sadly, something will draw me back to do a podcast on current TNA programming. Sorg, I'm angrily looking in your direction. Um, a wrestling mayhem show prediction is that a wrestling mayhem show T-shirt will be featured prominently in the temple at Lucha Underground. And my crazy prediction: I still think this could happen. Kenny Omega will have a match at WrestleMania. But will not be signed by WWE. Whoa, that's that's a stretch. Wow, it's not, it happened, not, it happened with Liger. Here's yep. my yeah. question. Well, yeah, the, yeah, that was NXT. That was NXT uh, Brooklyn, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, so it can happen. Here's, it's, here's, it's not impossible. Here's my thing. What, what's it? What's up? Is Kenny Omega one of those stars that would be better off without signing with WWE? Uh, 
yeah, yeah, he could be, but I don't. I, I feel like creatively, yes. Bank account, probably not. Yeah, I I feel like I feel like uh, after listening to uh, there's a really great podcast on Jericho's podcast with him after their match in New Japan. Yes, and kind of analyzing it after listening to that and kind of getting a, a look inside his head and how he thinks uh, uh, as far as that interview goes. I feel like he would want to do it as another challenge to overcome. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I think at a certain point he will conquer it all he can conquer in New Japan. I think you yeah. kind of see little glimmers of that by the way he was talking about having something different for his match this year with uh, Chris Jericho. And I think that is, the, you know, that is going to be, you know, what guides him here for the most part. So like here is isn't we're going to have him in studio. You know, maybe you never know these days. Uh, but uh, <laughs> no, no, I think definitely uh, that, that's a possibility. So, um, so uh, uh, Mad Mike. Yes. I have been really fascinated lately about alter- alternative ways to watch professional wrestling. Sorg. Sorg, don't make me do this. You know where this is going. Um, but, uh, of course, you know, I, I, I've queued up. I'm gonna, oh, God, I, I heard, Twitch. I've heard Tommy Dreamer talking about House of Hardcore on Twitch. Uh, okay. Impact Wrestling, okay, just, okay. Impact no, wrestling no. just announced to be on no. Twitch as well. No. Impact Wrestling makes me Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I've actually been interested in, I, I discovered, I don't know how I came across this, but I, I don't know if anybody's seen Pluto.tv. It's this app. You can get on everything. You go to the browser yeah. and it's got a channel guide. And it's, it's actually got like some, like it's got like a 24 uh, seven mystery science theater channel, things like that. Right. Um, so does Twitch. Well, so does, does Twitch have that too? Twitch so, has Shout TV and Rift Tracks. So there's a lot of things in here. The sky, the sky. There's there's there, there's uh uh you know uh, um, IGN and 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 Nerdist have channels on here. But there is also, and I thought this has been a lot of fun because I've been one. I have been wanting to look in, and 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 uh, you know the GWN app ha- of course has some Impact Wrestling. Um, so I wanted to maybe check out the best ofs and and you know see 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 if that gets me into it, right? At least like you know I don't have to check out everything, but here's here's the best matches from from 2017, right? So I, I was looking at it, and and it, it seems that Pluto has its own Impact Wrestling channel. Which, by the way, right now is is playing TNA Genesis 2005, fe- featuring Kurt Angle versus Jeff Jarrett. Of course it is. Sorg, Sorg, that that's a red flag. Is it? That's a red, <laughs> that's Sorg, a red just, flag for you to stop. Just turn it off. But I've tuned, in, I've tuned in. I've tuned in on on like Sunday, and it was playing uh, the the uh, one night only uh, pay per views. Uh, I, I tuned in yesterday afternoon. It was playing just episodes of Impact from August, and it's just something. It, it's something that I can turn on, put on in the background. Yeah. It's not playing Total Bellas, because um, because oh, anytime that I turn into the network, the WWE Network, Total Bellas is playing because Sorg, it's, it, it is as I, I've said several times. It is the cops of WWE Network. Sorry, I will. I will. I would rather watch a twenty-four hour marathon of Total Bellas. I would watch not. one then watch one episode of Impact from August. I would not. <laughs> I'm the opposite. You have not watched as, as much Impact as I have. No, so. of course. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Not recently. I used to. I used to back in the day. Not not Oh yeah, no, before. everyone used to. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Everyone used to. It, it's oh, like, oh, everyone used to do Coke in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> doing Coke in the late nineties. Like then they're just sad. <laughs> oh, Oh, uh, uh, but anyways, this has been kind of a fun experiment for me. Just again, it's something to put on the background. Sometimes it's hard to pull up something on New Japan. Um, I, I pulled up like the Young Lions uh, uh, a special from last month, and it was like one camera, and everybody's wearing black tights. It's really weird. Um, but <laughs> sorry, work. Very, very different. Oh, sorry. Yeah, very work. different. Very, very different. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, I'm doing it right work. now. I'm doing it right now. Look at this. Turn Look at it this. Off, Turn it off. Oh, yeah. Jeff so Jarrett, off. Jeff Jarrett's not drunk. As your friend. We have a code Sorg. red. We have a code red. Sorg, <laughs> as your friend, I'm telling you, this is harmful for you. This is harmful for me? <laughs> this is harmful for you. It will affect your 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 livelihood. Why do you your do career, this? Yourself, Sorg? Your Sorg, I, I fear for your marriage. <laughs> Sorg, Sorg, Missy has already caught you once watching Impact. If she does it again, I don't know what she'll do. Oh my well, God. Sorg, 
That's an intervention. Oh my god. Yeah. So do you think I'm doing a show right now, or are we? No, she's laughing here. to hide the pain right now. <laughs> no, it's actually I'm crying. We're we're here as friends. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I will. I will pull the plug myself if I have to. I will. It is snowing. The roads are terrible. Sorg, I will drive the eight hours to turn off impact. Turn off. Turn off. But it's available impact, in so right? many places, no, Mike. No, no, Sorg, no, no. Sorg, do you know what else is available in so many places? What? Oh, Coke. Oh, Coke. Coke. <laughs> Sorg. What is that, Keith? What were you holding up? I forgot about the mirror image. It says, say no to impact, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys! You guys are telling him no. Put Tina's in the chat room me. telling him to come to the dark side, Sorg. I mean, okay, chat room, no, chat room. I mean, no, just they don't it, have no. a dark side. They have four not, sides. Oh, wait, chat oh room, the, the chat do room. Not what help him out? What? No. What? What is your vote, chat room? Should I continue with chat this room, impact wrestling do not experiment? Be enablers. Do not be enablers. <laughs> we have done this for thirteen years. If Sorg falls down the impact rabbit hole, the mayhem show will be done. So the blood will be on your hands. Wow. <laughs> this will be all, this is the reverse Gene Snitsky. It will be your fault, chat room. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. But either way. Billy yeah. is asking a very important question, Sorg. Where is the shirt? What shirt? Oh, Fuck that owl, shirt. Sorg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it, it's It's happening right now. Um. Um. Hold on. A shout out to Rebby. Rebby. Uh. Rebby Hardy. Who? Yes. Okay, bring it over here. Just bring it over here. Uh. Because yes, as Mike likes to say, fuck that owl. Fuck that owl. Fuck there that you owl. go. Sorg. Sorg. We've been saying fuck DNA for thirteen years. Well, no, maybe for ten. Okay. I've been saying fuck DNA for thirteen years. There you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just sport this for the rest of the show for you. Um, Man. yeah. No, Alex, do not be an enabler. Alex, do not. I, Alex, don't do it. You, right. you now, got Alex, it. Alex is disqualified from being my future tag team partner against Ray Rowe. <laughs> he is endorsing Sorg. You've, you've, Sorg. you've got Tina. Impact. You've got <laughs> Alex. And you've got Dave Podner saying, watch it. Seeing oh the reaction God. would be worth it. Burn it down. <laughs> Tina, Tina, there is, there is no occasional dip down. Trust me. <laughs> There is no occasional dip down. <laughs> we cannot have a relapse. Selling points. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got no, selling points. No, selling there points. There is no just the tip in Impact. Austin Aries <laughs> is Impact. Oh, Austin Aries is current Impact World Champion. RJ Separate. City just showed up on Explosion. Explosion shows up a uh, uh, day oh, and yeah. day. Josh Matthews okay, is the grand sprinkle. champion of Impact. Also, sword. side note. Oh, side note. I have been watching and, the impact. She's whoa. reading spoilers for stuff that's not going to happen for a month. Mad Mike, Mad Mike, <laughs> Mad Mike. Can you can you can yes. just just stay with me on this? Because one thing <sighs> I have been doing, because I know, oh God. I know. You know what I've been doing? You know what's been making <clears throat> this okay? Coke. No, 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 <clears throat> no, no. no. <laughs> I've been watching it on mute. Oh, oh. No, it's still not working. No, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what about Espanol? <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I can speak Spanish. I can probably watch it on Espanol. Hold on. <laughs> I've done that. Yes. I've done that. Yes. Sorg, that's like... um, Oh, how to phrase this delicately. That's like jerking off when you're taking a shit. You know there's still going to be some pain involved, but you're trying to alleviate the pressure. Ow. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I, Sorry, that's what you've been doing. Um, <laughs> that's what you've been doing. That's the show, everybody. That's I just, okay. Every, I was trying to think of the weirdest combination. Um, like, I would you hope can follow it. Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. <laughs> I would it's hope that every my mic four eight eight three. Wait, we're, we're, Riz, we're, we're, plays games. we're not done yet, Riz. Guys, we're, we're not done we're yet, Riz. Yeah. No, no, because we need to I figure out. Is a painful. We're, we're gonna we're gonna move on to the next topic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, oh, so, so I don't so, want to talk about TNA. So, I wait, tried wait. to make everyone uncomfortable on the internet. We're going to read I'm one of our other 
Wait, wait, sponsor what, ads. What, 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 were we, what were we talking about? What, what was the app again? We're, we're reading a sponsor ad. <laughs> we're reading a sponsor ad after that? Yes, because it's going to put us in a better, better mindful situation for this. Oh, man. Yes, because this is, like, you know what, Mike? You know what, Mike? If I may, though, I am really happy RJC was on TV. That's awesome. That dude's awesome. Yeah, that- that's I awesome. had to say that. Yeah, he's amazing. No good really moment of the year. Again, right this now. has never had anything to do with the talent. I'm happy for the talent. Yeah. That is that. Well, I, this, I, this I, has I, been I, the I, big I, thing. The this is the big 100%. thing. Is so much of the talent that we follow, it, it has been on the show, right? And hey, hey, we'll get oh, to the yeah. ad in the moment. I want to make a couple yeah. other salient well, points see, here, see, please. See, sorry, my, sorry, my, my, hold on, Mike. Hold on, Mike. The biggest difference is you watch wrestling a lot of times for the actual matches. Yes. I watch wrestling for the stories and the matches. Well, that's your first problem. So, um, so no, it's not. It's 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 not a problem. Story. It's is like it's like that. watching yeah. it's like watching porn for the story. Sometimes I do that. Yeah, that's not a that's not a joke. Some of us have a that. Cinemax. Uh, a some, no, there no, have so, been so, better DC comic porn movies than there have been. DC comic actual movie. That's a whole another podcast. <laughs> That's but, not a joke. Okay, that so so joke. so on the Impact Wrestling side, I, again, yes. I, I there's a lot of people on there that either you know we've worked with in wrestling or that I've watched in wrestling. Ethan Page is pretty fantastic on there right now. RJ City being a part of it, seeing the Ohio uh, versus everyone guys on there. I want to see what they're doing. They're doing this barbed wire really massacre. Too. This. This uh the, the, this uh um uh, uh episode um I realized in LAX or um I can't remember the name of their tag team but they were in uh, they were in IWC for a minute um ba, 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 ba. DJZ of course <laughs> uh, DJZ yes so DJ's so man. so I do want to at least dip in and see what's happening there uh also also of interest because if you're worried about those people that you're wondering if they're ever going to leave impact wrestling um it seems that ethan carter is now departed from impact oh. wrestling he's not dead let me make that clear <laughs> <laughs> i would give everything in the world all right how about this all right, all right hold on hold on sorg 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 i'm going to make you a deal i'm gonna make you a deal sorg here's the deal if EC3 shows up in the Royal Rumble match, I will watch Impact with you. Wait, wait what? Really? Yes. I, I and, and let me be clear. I am not going to be a stickler to make sure I watch Impact every week. Well, this is be. not something I'm going to do. I'm not going to dedicate to it. But I may do there's a so much wrestling. Bottom. No, yeah, but there's sorry, only so much. Sorry. Just once for me, try watching Impact where you have to pay attention to it. Because that's a far different experience. Okay. Try try live tweeting it and you have to do this with the sound on. <laughs> okay. You can't you can't cheat. <laughs> and I want to see if you're as positive about TNA then. Okay. Because right. watching with the sound on it, it, with the sound off is cheating. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Watch you Listen, with the sound we'll do this. Cheating. We'll do this, Mike. We're going to pick an episode of Impact. It doesn't have to be live necessarily, you know, but we'll pick an episode of Impact. And maybe we'll do this Ring of Honor as well. We will both watch it and then come to come around to the end and, and maybe have a wrap-up show or something and see see where we came from it. Okay? Mid, we'll call it the midweek struggle. <laughs> The midweek struggle bus. Uh, anyways, so so not only Ethan Carter, but also Laurel Van Ness, which has been a bright spot in the past week in the past year for Impact Wrestling, has left. Who will be here yep. in me at Meadville? And also, who liked my tweet talking, uh, congratulating on her on leaving? Um, but she, uh, she's really cool. She's really cool. No, she is. And Bobby Lashley. And what? Bobby oh, Bobby Lashley, Lashley too. Mm-hmm. And Bobby oh, Lashley will do whatever no, Bobby no, Lashley Sorg, does. If if Bobby Lashley shows up at the Royal Rumble match, I will never I will never watch Impact again. <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing to do with the other thing. Anyways, you know what, Mike? Maybe yeah. maybe what you needed when you were watching Impact Wrestling is you needed to uh-huh. center yourself. You needed to be more mindful of your situation and, and, and just compartmentalizing this Impact Wrestling with the rest of your life and your emotions. Just like, you know, just like we talk about on our, our one of our friends of the show who, who went to, by the way, the host of the show 
went to Monday Night Raw with us uh, um, about a year ago, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, you, you know, what's keeping you mad, Mike, from doing what you want to do, which is cover yeah. all the wrestling, including Impact Wrestling. Whether you want to pursue your career in wrestling, like he thought, uh, and various friends Yo. of the shows of ours, uh, it can be hard to figure out where to start. Learn to live life out loud and tolerate Impact Wrestling, maybe on the side, with our friends at Fishing Without Bait. Uh, check out the podcast over at fishingwithoutbait.com, our friends here on the Sorgatron Media Network. I get it. I should get him to wear this. Because, I mean. <laughs> he will never wear something like that, though. No, he will. Yeah. No, no, I, I think he will. He will? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I I think he could. Uh, but anyways. Well, where, what? You shouldn't even tell him what it means. Just say, like, oh, no, we don't like owls. Oh, no, we just don't like owls on this <laughs> show. Don't. It has yeah. nothing to do with wrestling. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we just don't like owls. No, I actually no. like it. I actually like owls. I think they're adorable. <laughs> Damn it! Don't ruin the gimmick for us, Keith. So is my girlfriend. She likes owls too. <laughs> Keith probably wouldn't mind getting signed by Impact Wrestling, so we uh, won't, yeah, won't ruin yeah, this for him. Okay, so we won't yeah, ruin this for him. He's got a passport for Canada owls. already. I will. I will take that paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, that's another question. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> guys, at that point, what have you learned? From wrestling this week, uh, I, can, I learned. I learned you can legit try to murder someone on Raw and face zero consequences. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking took mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, 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 man. He was originally gonna get fired, so there was some consequence. No, no, there wasn't. No, no, no he, we originally got fired. Yeah, but, but see, he, but he got fired. He tried to murder more people, got rehired. <laughs> so sure. if anything, if you want to get hired by WWE, try murder. <laughs> almost murdered a guy. I mean, that, I mean, Wait. but that's happened several times, though. Is I that mean, is oh, that how also, War Machine got also, on? Also, um, John Cena is not the only one who got a Transformers movie because Braun Strowman beat Optimus Prime. <laughs> there it is there it is i was waiting for sword to connect the dots i could see oh. it forming in his brain and it was just like boom oh, oh that is still way better than that piece of shit fucking transformers movie last year i have least i have to get that out get that out i, I don't i don't want to imagine i didn't watch it i don't want to oh, stay away stay Ooh, away don't. it was bad tried. it was bad it was bad i paid two bucks for it and still felt ripped off mm, no <laughs> no Man, uh, Riz, what did you learn from wrestling this week? No, well, you need some time now, don't you? Yes, I do. Sorry, Riz. Keith Hot, pro wrestler you Keith know, Hot. You wrestled this week. Was... Maybe that has something to do with what you learned in wrestling this week. Um, uh, well, let's see here. Uh, what did I learn? What did I learn? Um, well, when. When somebody plays the wrong music, just roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Date makes his debut in Rise Wrestling this weekend. Well, I, 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 this is my third time. But oh, third. My third time. To me, but, but it's the first time I've seen him there as, under Rise Wrestling. <laughs> so <laughs> They play the wrong song. <laughs> he comes out, oh, answers Derek Direction's uh, open challenge to the wrong music i'm like well this is a this is a turn this is not what i'm used to this is, this is heavy 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 really heavy rap song i'm like whoa that's not i gotta go out <laughs> here i go so the bear cat <laughs> who's dancing and <laughs> hugging coming out the rap <laughs> oh some heavy stuff too <laughs> it's like but, but when i won though they played the right song so that that, that works all right missy <laughs> all right what, what do you got over there I learned that you put a nerd against a Harvard guy. Harvard, right? I, I don't remember. Uh, Ivy League, Ivy League something or other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wrestled in a hoodie. I thought that was impressive. I love the fact that the match ended on Legos. Yes, it did. With a dunce Those cap. hurt so bad. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, Keith, were you part of the Lego uh, uh, show? Uh, no, no, no. The fake Lego, Lego. show? I was a part of them. I was a part of them. It's the Plastic Brick Museum in Bel Air, yes. where they have Lego death matches every time I do a show there. I was not a part of those matches, but I've watched all of them, and uh, I've seven Legos, and those are worse than Thumbtacks, I think. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, that was, it was fantastic. A chest, chest, a chest flexor was, though. Emma Bailey Ruxpin 
uh, uh, Russell Team Twelve Gage and Legos. Uh, that was the last match with that was all Legos. Wow. Actually, Chess Lecture's been in all. Actually, Chess Lecture's been in all the Def the Lego Dev matches, I believe. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> because of course, Riz, do you have something you've learned? Yes, I do. Um, this is from the Fashion Files of Fashion Police. Uh, I want Tyler Breeze in the Women's Battle Royal, Women's Royal Rumble. Oh my God! As, that, as today, oh, as I today, don't know. Oh, I don't know. After I, no, that mm. I, I would normally I'd like it, but after the flack that or at um, least or at least both men and women get a sash. Mm. Okay. Okay, Sant- I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And there was, Sant- there was Santina. Santina Morrell, of course. And James Ellsworth winning the first yeah, Money in the Bank, bank match. I was, I, was getting, I was getting ready to say that, yeah. But it's because, because that happened, I don't think they'll do anything Ellsworth. like that. Ellsworth will be here in May, by the way, in Greensburg. All right, from the chat room real quick, <laughs> Alex learned that WWE spoils everything before it happens. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, Bobby F. J. Town learned that uh, Raw waited 25 years to have its best moment right before his anniversary. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, chocolate cake. Uh, Dave Fodner learned that when, a f- when on Facebook, watch Nat- Nakamura, Natty, Sasha, and Finn can put on a good match. Also, you don't need a watch for Facebook Watch. Huh. Glad we cleared that up. Now, what's the point? It was, it, was a pr- it was a pretty good match. I, I watched, I, I was looking back and forth from the phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good. Brandon learned uh, that you can't wrestle injured. Too many injuries happened. That's right. Honestly, I'm going to mention this other comment here. Yes. Sorry. Uh, it's it's the Braun Strowman can tip over a semi, but can't flip a switch in a $12 million company truck. <laughs> what does this button do? Also, okay, sorry, also, sorry, sorry, no, 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 no. Like... Best moment was when Braun couldn't fit through the door. <laughs> yes, yes. He looked at the frame like, oh, son of a. Can I, can I like best, best subtle moment on Raw last night. It was fantastic. The best, the, the other moment that stuck out for me was he he tells everybody to get out of the truck, <laughs> get, get get out of the room. They all go into one room. He just looks <laughs> around and just walks the hell out. That's it. That's it. He, doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Everybody's just standing there going, what the hell's going on? Nothing's going on between whatever happens. Thank you, because I Bro, thought I that they should have... just looking for a big red button that said show off. <laughs> they should have given him something that he could have destroyed. I would have been happier with him like the, legit destroying the, the, something. The, self, uh, the self-destruct system has been activated. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then once he presses it, you just hear, that was easy. <laughs> no, you know it's it's like oh, that, where's Bobby? It's like that Star Wars like, thing. If if USA Network went with this, just imagine, imagine if they went with this. Like, hey, you know what? We can fit in some cross promotion here. Like, if Braun hit something on the console and <laughs> Raw immediately flipped to Chris Lee knows best. Oh, I killed oh. myself. Just imagine, oh. just imagine, like oh. like two seconds, two in seconds, mid-show. like just two seconds. That would have been amazing. Uh, okay, yeah. It would have been the most genius yeah. promotion for Chris Lee Knows Best you've ever seen in your life. Wow. That's called or, synergy. Or, or at the very least, flip to a commercial immediately as soon as he uh, presses the button. Right. M- Missy, what'd you have? Oh, I was going to say that if it would have been like uh, the Death Star, that he's going down this very, 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 very <laughs> narrow aisle way yeah. just to hit like a little button. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, uh, yeah, Billy, a guy holding a cake and catering can star on Raw. Um, that's, that's Wheels learned, awesome. Will, Wheels learned that guy went through that table sweetly. I don't know what he's watching. Oh, he's I'm probably watching 205 or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, so. yeah. Oh, no, no, no. When, when Braun grabbed one of the security guards and just. Oh. You know, Oh, just like through him, he went so far. And oh yeah, like, the, the way he was chucking those guys was astonishing. Yes. <laughs> we 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 <laughs> chucked the guy like over the one side, like 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 onto like all the all the uh, <laughs> cabinets and everything. Like, dude went like twenty feet. It feels like Dave, Dave Potter saying apparently there was a GIF online that switched it to Modern Family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yes. Oh, I need to see, Dave, can you post that GIF in the chat room? I need to see that. <laughs> hey, I learned. I well, Tina also learned something in here before it gets completely buried. Yes. She learned that Stephanie McMahon is WWE's answer to Johnny Cochran to piggyback off of Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Sorg is confused by this. No, I, I missed the reference. 
because he because she reversed the decision and got brawn off. Oh, oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, so I learned that I can't go to a wrestling show and sit in front row. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> I'll, I'll come because I'll come for you. So oh, you'll come knows. for me. Like like Keith, <laughs> Keith, Keith. I think Keith won the match and he's coming for me. I thought he was going for like a high five, like you you do with the fans. And I, I don't I don't know what happened. First of all, but that wasn't it, Keith. That wasn't the first. That was the first weird thing that happened that night. Because because locked and loaded, Duke and Gannon are in there, and 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 whatever was happening with the music that it didn't work. Because I, uh, Brandon said that they, that it froze or something. So they're doing whatever in there. Something about the ref was swole, and then and then they noticed me. <laughs> and started yelling, "Hey, it's Sorg." Uh, who, who else was in there? Say it. Uh, BC, BC started yeah, BC talking to me. Talking with you. Yeah, yeah. From the ring. From the ring. From the. Um, I, I think Jack Pollock uh, said yeah, high Jack sorg. Yeah, Jack Pollock said high. Gave me a high sorg. Yep. Um, I, I got at least like three high sorgs from like the corner. Yes. Uh, so I, that was I just yelled. I just yelled and screamed. <laughs> You're just, that's, ah! that's, that's that's for the course. <laughs> oh jeez! And then my laptop. Di- oh, there it is. Uh, but but no. <laughs> wait wait wait! I missed I missed the moment when Kevin Dunn went under the table because like, I don't know what Kevin Dunn looks like. So <laughs> I, thought, well, I need to watch that segment back again. Uh, but anyways. Guys, it's been so much fun with you. Once again, uh, 603 celebrations of professional wrestling here on Tuesdays. Keith Hot, thank you so much. Current Black Diamond Wrestling Champion. I I've attended my thank first you, BDW show here um, just a couple weekends ago, and it was a lot of fun. It's out there just, I think, south of Wheeling. I don't know. I wrote uh, along. Uh, Benwood. Uh, Benwood. Uh, mm-hmm. Benwood. So go check it out. They're doing a lot of really cool stuff. There was a Buried Alive match. <laughs> At an indie show, <laughs> and it was pretty cool. It was actually pretty cool. And, and that's it. And even sorry, sorry. Go and to, Black oh, Diamond it. is going to have. Uh, it was an, an elite eight or something. It, a royal, uh, royal eight. Uh, royal eight. Sorry. It is. It was described to me as a Haas tournament. So yes. three o li- three o five live is freaking happening, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All those are listed over it. Because every year. Every year the Royal Eight's like different. Like some years like they did like tag tournaments or stuff like that, but some years like a singles. This year it's all hosses, so yeah. A bunch of big fun. guys. <laughs> a bunch of big guys. Fun. Go check it out. Uh, I know guys that we've been watching in IWC, some of them on the show, like Balk Nasty, Jamie, J- Jamie Jameson's gonna be a part of it. Um I think Jackson Stone, who I just saw for the first time this weekend, is gonna be a part of it. He's a super- I think Billy Oh, sorry. I think Billy's in it, too. Yeah, I Billy Ruxpin is going to be a part of it. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to see if I can get to that one, too. <laughs> uh, a lot of fun down there in West Virginia. Uh, that the, and, of course, that date is also listed. Um, information over and links over at PittsburghWrestling.com. Um, uh, Keith, where can people find you online? Oh, you can find me on Twitter, um, uh, at Hot Junior. You can find me on Facebook. I'm just Keith Hot. Not sure to find. Instagram, also just Keith Hot. You can find me just about anywhere. There you go. You know, and of course, thank you. and of course, matches over at IndieWrestling.us. Mad Mike, he's Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, uh, Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. I am fully caught up with NXT, and uh, it looks like I'm actually going to be going to NXT Takeover in Philly. Right. Woo! I'm awesome. very excited for that. So standard rules apply. If you see me and refer to me as Mad Mike, you are allowed one chop. One chop. Ooh. Anywhere? Yes. Uh, on the chest. What, what Standard chops apply. Standard chops. Standard chops, okay. Standard chops apply, yes. The Riz. Riz plays games on the YouTube. On the Twitches and the YouTubes and the Twitters. So subscribe. Subscribe to Riz the Plays Games. And my spaces. Okay, wow. What and no. that's, not, that's not good. Do you what? need a... And the Zangas and the live watch. journals. Do you need a watch journals. to watch you, Riz? What? You need a watch to watch Riz play games? <laughs> no, you just need a Twitch account, sir. Okay, okay good. Good. And of course, check out everything. That's where you can find Impact Wrestling as well. That's right. In House mm-hmm. of Hardcore. Everything at SorgatronMedia.com. So many shows like our friends that we mentioned here and so much more of the geeky variety, comic books, technology, and so much more. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what was that? Okay. 
Somebody's woke. <laughs> Keith oh, likes sorry, it. Sorry. I got- the show just started for Keith. Oh, I, I love <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I got excited. I love geeky stuff. So. There you go. <laughs> go subscribe to all the things. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, chat room. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.